Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Max with A1 Website Pro and we're moving on with our Apache, MySQL, and PHP lessons to teach you how to program. Now in this lesson we're going to assemble a basic website and code it in PHP. In our previous beginner course on lesson number nine we built a website with HTML. I then taught you how to use CSS and JavaScript with those sites. Now I'm going to show you how programmers write HTML and more with PHP. We're going to be using PHP 7 in this, these tutorials. So make sure that you've completed the first three lessons so that you will not be lost. Okay, we're going to be using PHP features like we talked about before, the echo command, strings, variables. We're also going to introduce a new one to you called include. So if we go here to a lesson number 9... And you scroll down here. Here was the mock-up that we did uh, a while ago. Okay, and here was the code. Well, we're going to grab that code. And how you grab that code is you click this little box right here. You hit uh, Command-A or Control-A and Command-C or Control-C if you're on Windows. And we are going to use this code and the CSS code below uh, to get this lesson underway. All right, so... Uh, I already have my Champ server started up, so I'm ready to go to the application. I'm also ready to go to the folder. And so I'm going to go to Volumes and explore the folder. And last time we did the, the test, remember, in the foo. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them out of here because we don't need them. And we'll go ahead and delete foo. All right. Now I'm going to fire up my BB Edit. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that code in there. I'm going to go up to File, Save As. I'm going to navigate over here to my user MacBook Pro, to my LAMP stack, to my HT Docs, and in my HT Docs, I'm going to create a new folder and just come call it uh, my website, just like that. Well, let's use lowercase. My website. All right, and we're going to create that. And we're going to name this file index.php to make it our home page. Make sure the, uh, the encoding is UTF-8. And I know I keep telling you that about that, but I don't want to explain it. The UTF-8 is a universal code, so it works in all countries no matter what language people speak. And that's what that's all about. Uh, so the computers around the world will be able to take that and you ever see Google Translate and uh, it just makes it easier when people go to translate pages and uh, uh, all the computers have a better under understanding so if you use Unicode UTF-8 it's the best thing to do and that's why I tell you to do that okay so we're gonna save that next thing we're going to do is go here where it says dashboard and type in a website just like before and we can see it's not coming up. So what did I do wrong? I must have named something wrong here. Oh, my website. All right. My website. And there's my first programming website. Now it doesn't quite look like the uh, mock-up does in the uh, in that lesson, does it? And that's because we don't have the style sheet in there. So let's just go ahead and grab this style sheet. We're going to copy it all. Copy. And we're going to go to this particular page. And in the head tag, um, you see we have a link uh, relation href style sheet. This is whenever I was teaching you guys how to call in external style sheets. So what we got to do is go File, New, Text Document. And we'll paste in those stylings. But when we go up here, we're going to go File, Save As, and got to save it as style.css for cascading style sheets. So S-T-Y-L-E dot C-S-S. -S. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back to the website. Refresh it. Okay, well. Okay, uh, the reason why it's not working is for some reason, the logo got entered twice whenever I copied it from the site up there. So we'll take that out. We'll save it. We'll go back here and refresh our page. And we see here we have our uh, 
formatted website with the style sheet and everything. Now we also notice that the uh, image is not there. So if we go to inspect the code, so let's go inspect the code in index.php, you can see that logo200.png is looking for that image source. And in order for that to be displayed, it has to be in this folder, right? So let's go ahead and open the folder there. And we'll open my website. And we need to grab that logo. And I'm going to up open a new finder window because I actually have that logo. So my desktop, desktop. And there's the logo. So we're going to take this side by side, just like so. I'm going to take this logo and drag it and drop it into the website. Now, one thing that I need to do is rename it to the exact name that we have on the index.php file. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to grab this name, logo 200, copy. And I'm going to bring up this name here. And I'm going to paste that name in there and hit enter. Now we'll go back to the website and refresh it. Voila, we have our logo there. All right, so this is basically straight HTML. We have our little menu here, you know, first paragraph, second paragraph, third paragraph, where it's jumping around with the links. Okay, and uh, we have this color thing that I was showing you guys in that lesson before. Now, what we want to do, this is just straight HTML. You see, there's no PHP involved. Okay, whenever you look at a website, Okay, it has pretty much, you know, the same types of things. It has a header, it has the main body, and it has the, the footer on it, okay? So what you want to do is visualize that in your head, and whenever you go to the script, you see this body tag? Everything right here can be in a um, file name called header.php. Does that make sense? You know, it's in the head tag. So we'll grab this, cut it, and we're going to go up here to File, New, Text Document. We're just going to paste that in there. We're going to go File, Save As, Header.php. Okay, we've got to take out the HTML there. Click Save. Now, whenever I go to the website, you'll notice that the header will be gone. Uh, let me go ahead and save that file, the index file. I'll refresh it here. And you can see that it's gone. In fact, the image is real big now, and that's kind of strange, you know. But since we're dealing with PHP, what we'll do is we'll come up here, start our PHP tag like you learned in the last lesson. And this is a new one for you. It's include. Okay, and then we have open parenthesis, close parenthesis, terminator, and go ahead and close out the PHP tag. But then what I want you to do is go inside the parenthesis and put two single quotes and then type your file, header.php. All right, now what this is doing, it's including that file in the header. Now if we save it, come back here to our site, refresh, you notice we have our header back. Okay. See if I get rid of this color thing. So we have our header back, and we're bringing that in. Now we're writing HTML with PHP. Now what about the other sections of the site? Well, we have this div class top ID clear down to. Well, let's see here. The footer would probably be this uh, body and uh, HTML tag. So let's go ahead and cut this out. Cut. Go up here to File, New, Text Document. Paste that in there. We'll go File, Save As. We're going to name this footer.php. Take out the HTML. Okay, so now going back to our index file, what are we going to have to do here? The same thing that we did at the top. So, less than, question, PHP, include. Open close parentheses, terminator, question mark, less than, greater than. Go inside here and type in footer.php. Just like so, and save it. We'll 
come here, refresh the page, we notice that everything's hunky-dory. It's the same, same thing. All right, now we're going to repeat the same process with the main part. I do, did notice that uh, WordPress, when I copied the uh, stuff from the site, that I got these ads in here, and those are not supposed to be in here. So let's go ahead and just take those out. And let's grab all of this information. As a, uh, as a hint, if you hold your shift button down when you're trying to highlight stuff, uh, you know, sometimes you'll go in here and you'll start and then you'll go too far. Well, if you hold your shift button down, push arrow down, you notice it'll come down further, but it'll also go up for you. Like if you're right here and you're trying to highlight certain lines, if you go up and down, that's going to be very valuable to you. So I'm going to hit Command X, cut that out of there. I'm going to go ahead and save that. We're going to go up here, File, create a new file, new text document, and we're just going to go ahead and paste that HTML in there. Go File, Save As, and we will name this folder main.php. And let's go back to the index file. Uh, let's see what it looks like uh, with without having the main part in there. So if I refresh it, you can see that nothing's in there. But now, we'll go ahead and put our main file in there, DHP, include type in main.php to include that file. So let's go ahead and save that. Refresh. All right. Now we're back in action again. We have our simple website that, that we created before in the previous lessons. And now you can, you know, scroll up and down. Here's another thing that this it will really help you to understand you know let's say that you have you know 10,000 pages and this is where programming helps you now you don't have to write header.php you don't have to write all this out over and over again all you have to do now is include header.php just like that you know or include footer.php like that you don't have to write these things over and over again now this is a very basic, very simple website, but you can almost begin to understand, you know, the value of having, you know, um, a processor like PHP do this for you, where you're assembling this stuff. And just remember, you just got to break it up. And if you look at the code, and you'll you'll be doing this a lot when you're programming. If you right click, click View Page Source, it's going to show you the code that we just manipulated and you're not going to be able to tell any difference from the time that it was just a regular HTML to now. So here's the code and you can see it's still, still straight and simple but you don't see any of the PHP or anything like that. That's because it's hidden. You know, PHP, you know, it'll process credit cards and stuff like that. You can have hidden variables that you don't want people to see. So anything that you don't want people to see or get a hold of, you you write it in PHP. All right. So this is uh, how you put a website together. Now, one more thing that we should probably go over before we conclude this is the menu items. Now we have a little jump menu over here, you know, where we could jump to the first paragraph and second paragraph. And we covered that in lesson nine in the previous lessons. But a lot of people will have a, a nice menu going across the top here. So if we go to our header.php, and let's say that we wanted to start putting a menu in up here. So let's go UL, that stands for unordered list. Let's close out the UL. Let's go in here and put a list item. LI list item. Okay. And then right in here, maybe we'll put an anchor link. A H R E F equals uh, test dot. Well, let's go foo. Foo dot PHP. And then let's give this the foo 
uh, title like so. Now let's go ahead and save that. We'll refresh the page and you'll notice now we have a menu item of foo. Okay. Now if we wanted more menu items, copy, we'll just put do here. Foo and do. Alright, we'll save that. Let's go back to the site. Now you can see we have foo and do. Okay. Now when we click these things, it's going to go to a not found. It's because we haven't created foo and do, right? But now let's create foo.php. And what we're going to go do is go to the index. We're going to go file, save as foo.php. And then here we're just going to put some HTML, h1. H1. Go, welcome to the foo page. And then maybe a paragraph tag. This is the foo page. I hope you like it. It reminds me Kung Fu. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and save that. Now, when we refresh a page, hit Foo. Welcome to the Foo page. This is the Foo page. I hope you like it. Okay. Now you notice we don't have the uh, the red part, you know, with the logo. And let's say, well, hey, I want that on every page. Well, go to your main.php. Okay. And this is the main top with your image and all that stuff. We could grab all this, right click, cut, and then hit Command S so you save it and go to your header and just simply put it in below. Now let's go back and click the food page. Now you can see we still have, you know, I think at the top that we needed. This page is a food page. I hope you like it. It reminds me of Kung Fu. Now, what about our do page? You know, of course, that's not there. But you notice it automatically brought the menu items over. So we're not going to have to keep writing the menu items over and over and over again on every page. Now, this is where programming helps you out. So let's go to our food page. And we'll go File, Save As. We'll call this do. Do.php. And then we'll say welcome to the do page. And we'll say this is the do page. And we will say, I hope you like it. Love me do. All right. So let's save. Let's go back and click on the do page. There you go. This is the do page. I hope you like it. Love me do. But you notice how we're not, we don't have to keep writing the menu over and over again. We can just concentrate on the content that we want to write. And that's the whole uh, point of this lesson. Now we could get into styling the menu so they're not going down like this, take out the dots, but uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. In fact, we got into it a little bit with our CSS class and in, in, in the basics, but we will be going over some styling, some JavaScript, external libraries. But now you see how you can start building a website with your PHP just by, you know, pulling them in like this. Okay. Now, if we wanted to use PHP programming on these, for instance, this content here, we could go in here, let's go right above here, and let's start with a PHP tag, and we would have to say echo, and then put a colon there, at the end here, put another colon, or a, a, parent, uh, a quote, and then our terminator, a semicolon. We would have to do the same thing on this line too, wouldn't we? Echo. And then put a quote like so. Now let's go ahead and save that. And let's go to the do page and refresh it. We 
you see we have a syntax error on line 5. Well, let's go to line 5. What happened? Can you pick out what happened? Do you see that I did not close the PHP tag? You see? That's important. It's especially important in PHP that you close them out. So let's go ahead and refresh the page. And there we go. We got our dupe page. Now this is totally being echoed out in PHP. Okay? But the browser, uh, you know, and uh, the PHP will will write the HTML for you. So the all the browser sees is HTML. And then you could go on and on creating more and more pages and more and more content. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do in the next lesson. And uh, we're going to probably talk a little bit more about PHP. And we're going to probably get into functions a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and do a variable in this lesson. Okay. Let's go to header. Let's take all of this, all of this top stuff, okay? Let's put all of this in a variable, okay? Actually actually, you know what? Let's just put the menu the the menu in a variable. Separate it out here. So with our PHP tag we're going to set a var for variable. It's going to equal, quote, it's going to equal all of this. Okay. And here we're going to go ahead and end it with a terminator. Okay. Just like so. Now if I save that and I refresh the page, it disappears. Why? Well, if you remember from the last lesson, when you store things in a variable like this, you have to echo them out, don't you? So echo, dollar sign var. Go out that variable and get our menu back. There we go. All right. Okay. Well, this is Max with AM Website Pro, and this is the end of lesson four. Uh, we're going to go on to more exciting stuff in the next lessons, but make sure that you got this down, created over and over again. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave uh, me a message on the website, awmwebsitepro.com. And I will see you in the next lesson. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Share this with your friends uh, so, you know, we can get, ha have a lot of people involved in on a programming. And, you know, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens the face of another. So let's keep it up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.